Imagine feeling different and not knowing why. Feeling like something just isn't quite right, but you can't tell exactly what that something is. Then imagine figuring out what wasn't right was your gender, that you were a woman trapped in a man's body. Tonight we hear the story of one person's journey of going from Jefferson to Jennifer. Welcome out of the fog, everyone. Well, tonight is a bit of a departure from our usual shows. We're actually going to take you on a little bit of a journey, one that travels from man to woman. Tonight, we sit down for an in-depth interview with a transsexual woman in our community. Jefferson Gordon McCreeth was born in Halifax, Nova Scotia in December of 1973. And moving to Toronto when he was nine, Jefferson lived in Ontario until he was 34 when he moved to Newfoundland. Jefferson, well, seemed to live a happy and uh, a fairly happy and successful life, but there was always something that was, that just wasn't right. So on the outside, Jefferson was physically a male, but on the inside, he believed himself to be female. Now these feelings are categorized in psychology as gender identity disorder, often called transsexualism or gender dysphoria. And these thoughts occur when a person believes their gender, their sense of being male or female, does not coincide with their biological sex. So a person born physically male may feel that in their brain, and in their heart, and in their soul, they are actually female. The National Center for Transgender Equality estimates that 0.25% to 1% of this population is transgendered, and a recent psychological study indicates that male-to-female transsexuals are more common than female-to-male, estimating the prevalence to be 1 in 12,000 males and 1 in 30,000 females. Well, our guest tonight is one of those 1 in 12,000. At the age of 34, Jefferson became Jennifer. She became a transitioned woman who had undergone sex, sex reassignment rather surgery to become the gender she had always believed herself to be. A daunting journey at any age, Jennifer's journey took her to Newfoundland where she has lived as a female for the past five years. To learn a little bit more about her and what life is like for a transsexual living in our community, producer Anna Delaney sits down with Jennifer McCreeth to hear her story. Historic setting, fine cuisine from our own kitchen, and the beers are brewed on site. We have... You're watching Rogers TV. Welcome back to Out of the Fog. Now, before the break, we gave you a very basic crash course in gender identity disorder. But what is it really like to be living as a transsexual in St. John's, Newfoundland? Well, we're about to find out. Jennifer McCreeth moved here five years ago from Toronto to begin the journey of changing her gender. So what motivated her to go through such a change? What was her life like as Jefferson and now as Jennifer? And what is it like for her living in our community? Producer Anna Delaney sat down with Jennifer for an intimate discussion about her life, the challenges she's faced, and what is ahead for the trans issues advocate. Here's that interview. Thank you so much, Jennifer, for taking the... 